So guys, welcome back to Dominique 33. If you're new here, subscribe and join the family. But the message for today is fear no evil. What does the Lord mean when he say fear no evil? He means literally fear no evil. We know that you're going up against wolves and sheep's clothing, roaring lions that's lying on a prowl, ready to attack ready to do these things but the lord is saying fear no evil for he already knows the lord is your shepherd so he's going to protect his sheep at all costs you know it's one of those things when your enemy comes he wants to intimidate you you know with loud noises and things like that but the lord is saying be strong do not be intimidated by your enemy do not be intim intimidated by the evilness that the enemy is coming to bring you know one thing about your enemy, your enemy only will react to what you're scared of. So if you show no fear, your enemy ain't even coming to, to make you a victim and victimize you no more. It's one of those things where the loudest one in the room, your enemy wants to be the loudest one in the room, always putting on a show or, you know, doing things where someone can come and bring you back in the story to intimidate you so the lord is saying fear no evil fear none of these stories these people is telling you about your enemy the rumors that these people are telling you about your enemy why because first and foremost the enemy wants to intimidate you the lord is saying be as a sheep a sheep is scared of noises and stuff like that but the sheep strongest quality about them is their vision is your vision so if you know that the lord is guiding you and you know that the lord is protecting you why should you be scared of your enemy why should you be scared of your enemy the word jesus is so powerful is known to drive out many demons and toxic people and things start speaking the word of god when these people want to come you know and say these things about what your enemy said or what your enemy wants to do to you i rebuke you in the name of jesus i decree and declare none of this no weapon against me shall prosper that's what you should be telling those people that's coming bringing bones about your enemy that's what you should be saying over the name of your enemy stop keeping this enemy name going Stop thinking about what they could have, should have, would have done. Stop thinking about what they coming to do, what, how they coming to destroy. You want to know why? Because the Lord said, fear no evil in the 23rd Psalms. The Lord says, my rod and my staff will comfort you, child. So fear no evil. Worry not about what the enemy is coming to do. The Lord says, be strong and be faithful in him. Through Christ, all things are possible. The Lord laid his life on the line to protect us from sin, to, to protect us from going, you know, down with the fire, with the enemy, with the devil. <laughs> Only thing blazing over here is we blazing for the Lord, Jesus Christ, our Savior. And we're rebuking the enemy. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Whenever you're scared, whenever you're afraid, whenever you just don't know which way to turn, turn your Bible on the 23rd Psalms, meditate on that word. I will see no evil. I will fear no evil. The Lord is speaking to someone today. You are scared of someone. You are afraid of something. But I decree and declare today that that spirit of fear is rebuked out of you. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Come out of you evil demon spirits that's coming to aggravate my people, to intimidate my family. I rebuke you now in the name of Jesus. Let that spirit release from you. Let that spirit be no more. You fear not. You are a child of the Lord Jesus Christ and he's watching you and protecting over all his sheep. You are not alone. It doesn't matter what it may seem like you're going through. It doesn't matter how afraid you are. Worry not and meditate on God's word. That is it. I love you guys.